Hey, welcome back. Now in our last video, I told you that we'd be building an automated research tool uh, for your business. Now, I told you that the tool would report to you every day with the top news in your industry. It can report the moment your competitor says anything about anything. Um, or you can know the moment anyone anywhere says anything about your company. And I, show, I started to show you a few websites around the internet that start to collect, that collect this information. Uh, I talked about Google, Google Alerts, I talked about different um, um, microblogging tools like Twitter, and I talked to you about social bookmarking sites. Now, let me give you a little history so you can understand where this is all coming from. See, back in the day, it used to be just Google and other search engines that would lead you around the web to quality information. But nowadays, with the recent explosion of Web 2.0 and social media, there's now thousands of websites that serve as gateways to quality information around the web. Now, this may sound great, but this is actually why Web 2.0 is killing us and killing a lot of people right now. now but I'm going to show you how you can turn that around and use it to your advantage. <clears throat> See, what makes social media so powerful is that any and everyone is now able to contribute information to the internet. Now, the positive and the downside to that is that it dramatically increases the quantity of information available on the internet, which leads to the perception of information overload, or we can't keep up with all of the information. You've heard that, right? Or even better, have you felt that? Well, I want to suggest to you that this is a misdiagnosis of the problem. It's not so much that it's information overload, it's that there's a limitation to, the, um, to effective filters of this information to sort through the information and present you with quality information. See what I'm saying? You follow me? Now, in the last, minute, in the last video, I introduced you to a few good filters for this information. So Google acts as a filter. It sorts through billions of web content and provides you with the information that you're looking for. But Google is great, but there's other things that make it even better, such as Google Alerts. Google Alerts allows you to, um, to set up an automated filter of the information you want, and it will send that information to you via email. But hang on about Google Alerts. I got something for it later. Now, Twitter's another one because that harnesses the power of the real-time web. So some, something someone says at the moment, Twitter archives it, and I'll show you how you can tap into that. We have search, and we have social bookmarking sites, which um, use um, social interaction to determine what, what, what information is quality. So this video, using something you may have heard of called RSS. I'm going to show you how you can put all of this stuff on autopilot, how you can set up these filters around the internet to only pull in information you're interested in and have it come to a single platform where it's always there, ready and waiting for you. This is powerful. If you set up filters in the right places, there isn't a place on the internet that someone can say something that you can't have access to. And the beauty of this is using RSS is we can tap, set up these listener filters out there and pipe them to one single source. And we're going to have it in a login type situation where you can just log in at any time and see what's currently in your feed of data. This isn't just simple RSS or simple um, RSS reader tools. This is um, leveraging the power of RSS to make it even better. All right, this is a good video, so stick around and watch it. I'm going to go back to the computer. So, enough suspense. What is this robot? Well, introducing Google Reader. You may know of Google Reader um, or you may not, but in summary, Google, is, Google Reader is a way for you to get all of your um, um, blogs and feeds and stuff into one place, kind of like an email account, but actually better. Your email is, is an account where you get personal information, personal messages. Google Reader is, takes the same concept, but it basically feeds you 
um, blogs and, and the information that you want. And it's based on the concept of RSS feeds. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's okay. A feed is simply um, like the, 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 the data, just the raw data of um, a site as it comes out. So a blog has a feed. Um, anytime you post a blog, that represents a feed. And using a site like Google Reader, it can tap into those feeds. And it's essentially a robot that will tap into those feeds on a regular basis and serve it to you in an inbox like feature. Well enough talking about it. Let's jump into it. <clears throat> Alright, so let's sign in. You can sign in, oh by the way the URL is google.com slash reader. Simple enough. Um, and basically it looks a lot like your email inbox and it basically does everything I said it would. Um, so here I have some feeds set up from different uh, blogs and different sites and maybe I'll do a video on Google Reader in the future. But what I want to show you is how we can take these search feeds and port them or pipe them into Google Reader. So all you have to do now is log into Google Reader whenever you feel like catching up on your industry. It's very powerful. All right, this is what you do. So starting with, uh, with Twitter, I'm going to look for this button called Feed for this Query. And let me just, for grins, just show you um, how a feed looks like from um, Google Reader's point of view. If I cl left click on this, it shows you just the raw data of what this page represents. We're not going to read this raw data. Google Reader is going to read the raw data and show us a representation of that data. So if I left click on that and then I copy that URL, I can go to Google Reader and say add a subscription. And we're going to basically subscribe to the Twitter search feed. Okay, hopefully you see where I'm going with this. So Google Reader, like I said, took that raw data and presented it in a nice Rep, uh, a nice concise format that we can essentially quickly sift through and read the ones that catch our eye. How blogging can be a valid database market, that might interest me. So I click on it and I can read it. Here's a URL if I want some more information. Also if I like that I can star it to come back later in my start item. That's my quick Google Reader overview. Let me continue with Google Alerts. This is a little trickier because I have to change it from delivering it to my email to a feed. So let's edit this one, change that to feed, and hit save. Bam. So this feed, I'm going to look for this item. I'm going to right click on it. And this time I'm going to put copy link address. That's the equivalent of me left clicking on it and right clicking on this, which is the raw feed and then going back into Google Reader, add a subscription, paste it in, and add. And basically I'm now going to repeat this process for dig. We gotta look for this, here it goes. Right click, copy link address, add a subscription, add, and one more. So I hope this is making sense Again, Google acts as a robot that will automate these search queries on a regular basis. It will pipe the results of the search queries right into your Google Reader um, database. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can further filter it by setting up these folders. So let's click on my first one. This is my Twitter search and we'll create a folder to put all of these in. So I'm going to say Feed settings, new folder, and we'll call this social media marketing on the web. Okay, and here's my folder. Now the rest of them I can literally just drag in. So that's pretty much it. Basically the sites that we chose represent tools that have already that already do a great job of finding great information on the web and basically we've used Google Reader as a robot to automate those searches 
and pipe them through to an inbox like format so essentially whenever something good comes up on the web there's a high chance that we will see it in our Google Reader what you do with this data is up to you but I can guarantee that you now know more than most people in your industry because you're going to use these the information from this to greatly improve your business.